Hello and welcome to my channel. Always about the bird and like always if you've been here before, well, welcome back. So today, we are going to play one of the decks that I've been super duper 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 waiting for, like for the past, what, seven, eight years now since Gatecrash came out. Um, and that is, hey, come here, Maze's End. Uh, we'll get to that. I do want to say right off the bat, um... You could definitely make a better version of this deck. I went for kind of like super quick ramp, but um, what's the, uh, what's that card? Draw card. I forget what it's called. Uh, gate. Guild Summit. So I went for like really quick ramp, but if you want, you can take out like the Lanawar Scouts um, and do like uh, Guild Summit. You can probably even drop down like one and one and put in Gates of Blaze. Uh, I didn't do that. I just wanted to like go all in and win. So, but Guild Summit, Gates of Blaze, stuff like that would be a really good addition to this deck. So if you already have those cards, by all means go for it. I just went like the nice little rampy style. So basically let's, no, it's a lot of scrolling. Um, so Maze's End, uh, it enters the battlefield tap. We can tap to add colorless. Uh, or for three and tap it, we return it to our hand, search our library for a gate card, put it onto the battlefield, and shuffle our library. If we control ten or more gates with different names, you win the game. So, um, when Gate Crash came out, I I've always loved alternate win conditions. I think I think alternate win conditions are like the best thing in the world. Because uh, I mean, in this deck, you definitely see it happening, but like um, you definitely see it coming, but um. It's just one of those things where it's like, all of a sudden, boom, I win. I don't care. You have 100 million life. I still win. Um, but unfortunately, back in Gate Crash, there really wasn't much to, like, support it. You just kind of had to keep getting land cards. There was some stuff that you can play. There was some stuff. But now we actually have 11 gates because we have Gateway Plaza. So, And if anybody wants to know why I have two of every gate when clearly I'm playing a Simic deck and I could have... Um, because we can search. There's a lot of stuff that I'll let search. Um, and I should have weighted it towards Simic. The reason why I did it is because I'm an idiot. And my brain is very slow. And uh, the first game that you'll actually see. I actually kind of messed with this. But um, if I have two of every gate. When I search my deck. I know exactly which gates are on the battlefield. And which aren't. If I see two of one, uh, one gate. I pick it. Um, the first deck we had Mill. We played against Mill. <laughs> like so that screwed everything up i actually could have won i think for two turns in a row but i chose the wrong gate because i saw one of it it was stupid don't worry about it but the reason why i did two of each uh is mainly because um it was easier when searching my library because they're small cards on the screen they're not like right in front of me so that's why i did two of every card if you want you can definitely tweak the land to fit your play style better um all right, so we got the Grazer. It can come in, hopefully turn two, put an extra land onto the battlefield. Lanawar Scout, I was a little bit like, hmm, should I? But it caused us like a turn five or a turn six win because uh, once it's out there, you just tap it, put a land onto the battlefield. It also worked where I played a bunch of land and then I used Maze's End to put it back in my hand. Um, and I was able to basically put it back out, even though I already played my land for the turn. So this is good for just dropping an extra land each turn. Uh, Omen of the Sea, uh, Growth Spiral, uh, District Guide, which is probably the worst one that we could play. But it guarantees us a gate, whereas the other one doesn't necessarily. And it also guarantees us a gate of our choosing. So, But when it enters the battlefield, uh, we can search your land for a basic land or a gate card. Reveal it, put it on your hand, shuffle the library. Uh, Uru, basically life gain and um, extra land onto the battlefield. Uh, circuitous route, amazing card, and Golos. Um, we actually got to use Golos's um, ability, and it resulted in getting to play another uh, another mana, a couple of stuff. It was good. It was enjoyable. We had fun. So, like I said, you can definitely tweak the land. I didn't because I'm an idiot. And I, this makes it so much easier for me to play this deck. Um, but, and I also put Ancient Ziggurat in here because we do have plenty of, uh, we do have plenty of creatures and it does help. But you can put something else in there if you wanted to. Um, 
you can probably put the uh, not the gate, but the thing that gains three life if you control more gates. Uh, but yeah, so uh, th that's the deck. It's super fun. Like I said, if you want, throw in a guild summit, throw in some uh, gates of blazes. Uh, they definitely would have helped me. Um, at least the gates of blaze. If if you're meh on the guild summit, gates of blaze all the way. But yeah, so this is a deck that I waited like seven or eight years to play. And because we have some really good cards like Golos, like District Guide, like Circuitous Root, it actually works now. And surprisingly, it works pretty consistent because once you kind of get a little bit of an engine going, they can't counter you playing a land, picking it back up, and then going to get it. So even if they are countering some things, like I think it was the last game or the second to last game, they were countering our creatures like Golos. Didn't matter. We had the land out there. We were able to just pick up our land, search for another one, play that land again. So all right, this has become one heck of an intro. Uh, so I'm going to say nothing other than let's just get started to the games. And it's a really fun deck. All right. Bri Brizzly? Could be Brizzly. Could be Brysly. Um, all right. Well, I mean, it's slow. This doesn't come into play tap, right? Nope. All right, we'll just start. Unfortunately, we got a double... Hello. We got a double Boros. What is this? Tired of the spell. Sacrifice it. Can't be blocked. Weird. All right, well, we have nothing to do, so we'll just play that. Uh, next turn, we can Uro. We don't have a Maze's End. We can get a Maze's End. What is this? Um, actually, we're going to come really close to not being able to uh, win. Mm, crap. Um, we can't get any doubles of the same. If we get a double of the same, then we can't win. Damn, who plays this deck? <laughs> I mean, I guess Mill is out there. Um. All right, draw two cards. Uh. Gruel Orzov, is it? Um. Gruel Orzov is it? Uh, we can still play this. Do that. Right, we gotta be careful. Alright, so. Luckily. And actually, we can have one double in there because we have um, Gateway Plaza. What is this? Sweet. All right, let's just go get like gruel. And is it just to make sure? No attacks. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I guess I'll block. I don't really care about the damage, per se. I'm not really worried about taking too much damage. Because presumably, we might be able to get there. Uh, Selesnia was put in there. We don't necessarily... Whatever, 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 whatever. We're going to take action. We'll get our Azorius. Azorius. 
And if I don't mess this up, we win question mark. Rakdos? No. We need one more. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have double Boros, double Demir. I think I Well, we'll figure it out. We can oh well Maze's End comes into play tapped, but Yep, I really don't care about that. I mean, I'll block. As to not die. Oh, it's got flying? Alright. Um, Golgari. Do not you No. Stop using Maze's End. <laughs> To cast these card, uh, to cast this card. Two, three, four, five. Selesnia. Three. Um, no attacks. What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I already had Rakdos. What the heck am I missing? So, Lesnia, I am screwing this up horrible. Orzov, is it? Uh, oh, I need Orzov. That's the one that I need. I need the Orzov Guildgate. Alright, I wasn't grabbing that because I only had one of them in the deck, but I kind of forgot that there was one in there. Um... Okay, I need the Orzov one. Mmm, block? Orzov is the one that I need. Okay. Uh, if you attack, you may return target creature to its owner's hand. Uh, okay. Don't hit Orzov. Alright, cool. You didn't hit Orzov. Nope. Zed... Wrong one. This one. That's game. Okay. Um, damn. Don't play mill against this deck. This deck was specifically designed so that I don't have to look at the land on the battlefield. But I can look at um, the land in my deck. Because I purposely, like I said in the intro, put two of each just so that I know if there's a double or if I have it in my hand. Oof. Uh, almost screwed that up horribly, but hey, we win. All right, devil. Let's see. Yeah, we'll keep it. We shall see. Well, we'll just start with this. Uh, if we get lucky, we'll draw a grazer. All right, opt. Mm, we didn't draw a grazer. All right, so we play this, auto pay. Mm, we can do this, but hopefully we just draw more land. I just want land at this point. Alright, I'll take it. Mm. Uh, when, uh, 
become a copy of another target creature. Okay. Interesting. Mm, you know what? I actually want to do this. Hopefully we draw a land. We do draw a land. Uh, unfortunately, we do have the double gruel, but... Mm, three... Well, we can do district guide twice. I don't know how much that helps us. Well, it puts blockers on the battlefield. And that's actually a pretty decent thing. Still sitting pretty at 20 life. All right, we're going to play you. We're going to play you. Definitely take action. We'll take a Demir this time. Play you. Definitely take action. Is it? How many cards I got? Way not enough. Wow, they're just... <laughs> huh. Mm. Alright, Demir. Let's Omen. Actually, I want this. Route... One, all right, so this is a double, this is a double. No attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we win if I did my thinking properly. <laughs> wow. Um, I wonder what they're actually playing. All right, we want to play is it we want to do this where's our double one uh boros we win got him um such a cheap way to win like ugh. i i like it <laughs> um i love alternate win oh i just exploded on the inside i love alternate win conditions all right cool Captain Pingaloka. Pingaloka. Does that mean like crazy penis in Spanish? Uh, we'll keep it. Like, is that what that means? Uh, pretty sure that's what that means. If somebody speaks English, let me know. Uh, speak Spanish, let me know. I mean, I speak a little bit of Spanish, but definitely not enough to pretend I know Spanish. I do know what pinga and loca means. Um, I guess we just start dropping different gates. We'll use district guide, maybe. Um, hmm. Actually, let's Lanawar scout. Uh, which is kind of a nifty little card. So at first it wasn't played as much, but I guess it doesn't really add ramp. Um, all right, let's activate its ability. We'll drop an is it. We'll drop a U. We'll drop a U. Uh, definitely take action. Uh, yeah, Azorius. We don't have one of those. I'm completely fine with that shock. You got like a lightning strike up in there though? This doesn't say Tath, right? Yeah, it's just put a land card onto the battlefield. All right, Nifty. All right, we are gonna activate ability. We're gonna use you. Mm, I'm gonna say Azorius. Definitely gonna do this and Golos can get us all right, uh, Demir is it? All right, so Rakdos is a double, and Golgari is a double. 
two, four, six, eight. Do I have a Boros Guild get out there? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Maze's End. This was a quick win if we get it. Um, I don't have any land. All right, and pass a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We use this to get the tenth one. Uh, pass my turn. Mm, Gruel Boros Selesnia, we win. Cool. Hey, we did that on turn five. Um, right, three, four, uh, six. Turn six. Well, yeah, turn six. That's probably the quickest we'd be able to do it, right? I mean, if we had more land in our hand, we probably could have done it a turn earlier, but we got really lucky. We got like four or five gates right out of the bat that weren't doubles. Uh, cool, we win. All right. Feel 1103. Uh, doesn't seem bad, to be honest. All right, we'll keep it. We can eventually grow spiral down the road. Right, we can grow spiral, then Uro. All right, well, hopefully we draw a couple more land because... With what we have in our hand, it's not great. What's... Oh, we're waiting for them to, uh... Mulligan. Okay, there we go. Waiting for them to mulligan. <laughs> Temple of Mystery. All right. Actually, I wouldn't mind getting the uh, Gateway Plaza. No. All right, well, we can Growth Spiral. We have an extra land, which is nifty. <laughs> There's Gateway Plaza, but we don't want to do that now. All right, Simic, Demir. Uh, if we get a ziggurat, we'll do Golos. Otherwise, we'll do this and this or something like that. Uh, my sister is calling me. So after this game, I will have to call her back. Uh, Risen Reef. Mm, Maze's End. All right, we didn't. All right, let's just play this first. Um, District Guide isn't actually horrible, but we have something that can get us, um, all right, get us our gates. All right, as long as they don't explode, we're halfway there. Like, as long as they don't just, like, super pop off. Mmm... -hmm. Leave Kin Druid. Well, they're not hitting lands. Which doesn't make me happy. I'd almost rather, like... At some point, like... That's enough land. Alright, well, let's just do this. Azorius and Orzov we don't have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine. Uh, wilderness Reclamation. What evilness are you going to have? Uh, Non-land permanent for mana. Interesting. And what's that? Look at the top five. Non-human. Rest on the bottom. Okay. I'm surprised they're not attacking, actually. Why do you always want to do that? All right. You... 
two, three, four, five. You got a counter? I think they have a counter. Do you have a counter? If they have a counter, they're super slow playing it. I have to assume they definitely have something. Or just this being able to... Yeah, like... That's fine. Right, resolve. I don't know... I don't know why that took so long to uh, decide to counter it. Okay. Uh, we already have a gruel one, unfortunately, though. All right, we can't do that, though. That's not a gate. All right, what do we actually have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, Shark Typhoon, that's fine. Why aren't you attacking though? All right, it is what it is. If you have a counter, you should probably just play it. Nope. Do you want to use Maze's End? You don't, all right. Let's try to draw something else. Actually, Boros is a good one. We'll just do this. We're basically at that point where... It doesn't matter... If we, um... If we can't cast anything anymore, because it's our Maze's End that's going to get us there. Uh, but the Grazer is really good because it allows us to play Maze's End even though we already played our land. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, we win next turn. Unless they can somehow, like, destroy land or something like that. 3, 4, 5, 6, so... Let's say they play something for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, I don't see them getting there. Oh. 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm surprised they didn't play that to draw four cards. Huh. I'm surprised that they didn't draw four cards. And then they would have made a uh, big shark. All right, well, all we got to do is just get through this turn and we win. All right, let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine at a maze's end. I'm really surprised they didn't draw four cards last turn. Because then they could have attacked with the shark. Eh. I mean, listen, I don't know if they realized that. Maybe they clicked the wrong thing when it came up. Um, who knows? Uh, what does this do? Mutates. Uh, so it draws a card. Mm, activate it. Where is my double? 
Unless they have like a, what is it, like repudiate or something that like counters the, uh, uh, Selesnia. We win. Uh, <laughs> nifty. I, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really equate to them having made a mis- well, they made a mistake, but I don't think it cost them the game to not have a 6-6 six, six, uh, shark to attack. Because even if they did, and they attacked for more, um, maybe they thought I had a Gates of Blaze. Which is, again, like I said in the intro, a very good addition to this. But, um, yeah. I mean, this is Maze's End. I I've been waiting seven years, I think. Seven, eight years since um, Gate Crash came out. And um, I, I finally got to play it. I finally got the win. Um, I used to always say, I used to be like, I'm going to make a Maze's End deck. And everybody just laughed at me. And I never got around to making a Maze's End deck. But I think with some of the newer cards now, like especially Golos, um, the Grazer, uh, District Guide, stuff like that, that can actually just get you land, uh, get you gates, uh, I think is really, really, really good. So, cool. That was Maze's End. I've been waiting seven freaking years for it. And like I said, there's definitely other ways to make this deck. Um, I just went for like Super Ramp version, but... Definitely, if you already have the cards, if you already have a Gates deck, uh, just add in this. But, um, like I said in the intro, there's always, like, the Gates of Blaze, the, um, uh, the draw to, uh, the draw card whenever you play a Gate. I absolutely forget what that's called, and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, cool. I got to play it. I'm happy. Um, yeah. So, stay inside, stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome, stay amazing, and we'll see you in the next video.